I just got my phone. Okay, if any of you guys follow me on Snapchat, if not, you definitely should. Allie, for real. Um, add me. My phone cracked, and I was literally standing in the kitchen, just standing there in the kitchen, and my phone literally, I'm sorry for the sunlight, um, and my phone literally just fell out of my hand and cracked. So, um, I went to the Apple store just now, and I got it fixed, and it literally took like an hour and a half, um, but while I was getting it fixed, I did a little bit of shopping. I went to Sephora, and I also went to Macy's, and there's this new candy store that opened up in the mall, and it's called Lolly and Pops or something, so I went there as well. And it was really funny there, because a woman there, like, she gave me this, like, gummy bear that was like, she's like, try this gummy bear with chocolate, and literally made me feel, like, kind of nauseous, but I don't know, whatever. Um, I got other chocolate there, too. I got this, like, really, like, looks so good wedding cake chocolate parfait type thing. And I got a few Halloween candy things there, so... Um, they literally have, like, there's a red light, so I'm just gonna show you guys the cutest little bag. Look at how cute that is. And, like, they put, like, my candy in, like, the cutest little box. Oh, that's so cute. And then I also got these, like, they're called Gang Yang, and they're from Ch Asia, so I thought those looked good. I saw a lot of, um... Uh, out of country candy so I'm thinking I might go back and do like a tasting Asia foods like so yeah let me know if you guys if that would be something you guys are interested in my hair just I feel like it looks so is looking so ratchet um but I literally thought that it was gonna take less time at the apple store but they're like oh it's gonna take like an hour or so end up taking an hour and I thought it was good last time I went to the apple store to get my phone fixed I ended up just get they ended up just giving me a brand new phone, but this time I was able to keep my phone, which was kind of good because then I don't have to worry about like backing it up or whatever, and I still have everything on it. Yeah, I went to Sephora and I got some goodies. I love that place. I might do a haul. I don't know. Like going to Mac remind me of old times. Like sometimes I go to Mac nowadays, but I don't go to Mac as much as I used to go to Mac. Like if you guys remember my videos back in 2014, I used to do Mac hauls like every single week and like literally like oh that was my obsession so yeah but I went to Mac and I got some things there um I don't know why but like I just feel like today when I was out everyone was just like staring at me like literally like staring at me but they weren't talking to me like in Sephora sorry this little girl's like staring at me <laughs> I'm gonna smile um but yeah and Sephora, everyone was, like, asking everyone else, like, around me if they needed help, but they literally said nothing to me. It was, just, like, I kind of, like, felt bad. Like, I feel like, is there, like, something wrong with me sometimes? I just feel like... <sighs> These people are blocking the box. Driving Tips with Valley do not block the box. Like, if you're in an intersection and you don't think you can make it across when it's, like, yellow, do not go. Because that, you could get a ticket for blocking the box. Anyways, so, and like three points on your license, so don't do that. It's really traffic -y out right now. It's like prime traffic time. It's six o'clock. Prime top, uh, 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 red, someone braked. Um, prime, uh, prime traffic time right now is out, but, um, yeah, anyways, so I just feel like everyone was like staring at me, but not talking to me. And I felt like, is there's like something wrong with me? Like then I become to feel like self-conscious. I don't know. I just feel like in this world people just judge you off your appearance way too much and that's not what it's all about it's about your heart it's about what you have on the inside it's about how much love you spread and how much kindness you spread it's not about how you look it's not about how much money you have or how many things you can buy you know at the end of the day what really matters is how you impacted someone's life and if you impacted it positively then that's all that matters and i feel like all these people were just like prejudging me i just don't know why there's so many people in sephora and they were asking everyone else if they needed help but they literally didn't say anything to me it was so awkward so awkward anyways um just a little rant that I was decided to talk to you guys about because I love you guys and you guys are literally like my best friends and I had to tell you guys what was going on. Maybe I'll just go this way. Like the people at Mac were nice though so I appreciated them. Oh my gosh literally I feel like my camera now is so much clearer. I don't know if you guys feel it either but my camera I feel like is so much clearer on my phone.
Don't block the box. Um, and I went to Solaris, and people in Solaris literally looked at me. The woman's like, we replace screens too. And I was like, yeah, but I already have an appointment at the Apple store. I was like, oh, you're so sweet, but I already have an appointment at the Apple store. Can I kind of like... Uh oh, there's a police officer there. Uh oh. Um, but I was like, yeah, I kind of um, already have an appointment at the Apple store, but can I just buy the screen protector here? Because I had like a screen protector that I bought for $50 there, and they were supposed to give me one for $10, which thank the Lord was only $10 because my phone freaking cracked. It's not that trafficy. I manifested it. It's all about what you manifest. Like, if you're like, it's not gonna be trafficy. It's not gonna be trafficy. But if you're like, it is gonna be trafficy. It's gonna be trafficy. You know what I mean? So it's really all in your mind of how your life is. I opened up this new um, little booth in um, Macy's, and it's like this like cosmetic booth, and it was so funny. The woman's like, oh yeah, try on this moisturizer. So she like put it on my hand, which was like really nice and stuff. And she like was putting it on my hand, and then also my hand started like breaking out. I was like, maybe this isn't the best moisturizer. And it was like $310. And I was like, yeah, it's making my hand break out, and it's $310. Like, uh, it had like seaweed in it, and the guy was like, the guy like tried like 600 times in like in the chemical lounge, not in the chemical, in the factory to make it right, and it, I don't know. I mean, like it looked good, and she gave me a sample, so I'm gonna try that one out because the sample she gave me didn't break me out, but who knows? The smaller size was $175. That concludes my car vlog. I'm sorry, it was kind of just one big rant, so I might not upload this. But if I do, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hope that you guys are all having a great day. You are amazing, you are worthy, and enough, and I love you. Mwah. Stay amazing.